So due to the popularity of my Retrobat Vita 3K PS Vita emulator setup guide I did yesterday, I thought I'm going to go ahead and do the actual standalone version of this. So I'm using Windows 11 and in this setup guide I'm going to show you how to set up Vita 3K, how to download particular files and get you up and running and also look at what files we need, game extension files that is. I'm also going to look at video settings as I always do and just generally get you up and running and start with this so check this out. <laughs> Okay then, so if you're new to my channel and I help you out in this video, just hit the notifications and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss up and coming emulation retro content that I upload daily. So we're looking at Vita 3K today. So just let me tell you that Vita 3K as it stands doesn't run every Vita game. So what I'm going to do is just recommend you go over to the Vita 3K compatibility list and we can see what works with it and what doesn't. So your best way to do this is if you just left click on the playable just here, we can see 1,121 games to date of recording this video are actually fully playable. So you just scroll through this and there's a lot of good games in there worth looking at. There's a lot there. Um, and of course, if we go to in-game, it says plus 310, which just means that games are going to be highly playable, but they're also going to break as well. Now, if we just go down to the orange and menu and intro, those are going to get worse for compatibility. But Vita 3K is updated a hell of a lot and it's always improving. So there's still hope to come for games such as Killzone, if that's what you're hoping to play, which isn't quite supported yet. But like I say, bear with it and update it. So what we're going to do then is actually download the emulator. So link's going to be in my description for this one too. If we just go to the download tab, as we can see here, Vita 3K, it's available for Android, Linux, Mac OS, but I'm going to do this setup guide for Windows. So grab from GitHub. And that's going to download. So it's only a small zip file we're going to download. So once you've downloaded that zip file, you'll get Windows latest. And what I'm going to do is just right click on my desktop, go to new and create a new folder. I'm going to just call this one via 3 k And I'm going to drag this zipped file inside of here. Go inside of that 3 k folder I just created. Right click on the zipped. And just go to WinRAR, you might be using WinZip or 7-Zip, and just extract it. And once you finish extracting that, what we're going to do is just actually get rid of that zip file. We no longer need that. And let's open up Vita 3K. So you're going to see a command terminal in the background, that's fine. Uh, so select language. So in my case, I'm going to go for English, United Kingdom, and press Next. Now, the current emulator path, by default, this is going to my C drive under app data. We can change this emulator path, so that's entirely up to you to do. What I'm going to do for this is actually change it to my folder on my desktop. So change emulator path, desktop, and I'm going to put this location to my Vita 3K folder just here and select. And everything is now going to end up in that folder that I've just created on my desktop. So everything's all in one. Pretty easy to access if we need anything. So I'm going to press next. Now the next part of this, we're going to be installing the firmware and what's called the font package. Right now you'll see there's two crosses next to both of these. So what we need to do is just click on the download firmware. And this is going to open up the official Sony software update for PS Vita, which is 3.74. So we're going to download the update. And if you're using Microsoft Edge and you get can't be securely downloaded, just bypass that on the horizontal lines. Keep and keep anyway. And that's going to generate a PSV update dot pub file. So we can close this down and also download font package. And again, that's now going to download a different file. They're both very similar in how they look. So close this down. Now install firmware file once we've done these. Now, like I said, both of these have currently got X's on them. So if we go to install firmware file, just go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloads go to. And we need to install this one first. This is the firmware. So this is the PSV updat.pub. Double left click.
and entirely up to you but what we're going to do next is just delete the firmware installation file we don't particularly need that anymore and press ok now you'll notice that we've got a v next to download firmware because we've just installed this and it's ready to go but we also need to install the font package so again go to install firmware file and the other file that we've downloaded is the psp updat.pub so just double left click on that one and let that one install and again we can delete the firmware installation file and press ok now we can go to next and this part is entirely up to you how you do this so once this emulator boots up we can change the size of the apps the icons of your games uh, but we can actually do that once we're inside of the uh, ui for this so let's press next and okay and here we go so you've got a bit of a disclaimer and a little welcome to vita 3k uh either check this or uncheck it if you want to see this every time i'm going to just uncheck this and press close now we can create a user for this so just left click and i'm going to be calling mine just jamie and i'm going to press confirm and okay now we can use this one to actually access our user profile and here we go so just left click on here now the next thing we're going to look at is adding a game so you need to be aware that vita 3k works better if your games are in dot zip file so for example i've got a game just here which i've got on my vita itself but it plays a lot nicer on here of a full screen and this is shovel knight now if i go into this folder we've got a dot bin and we've got a few subfolders but it's no good what we need to do is make this folder into a zip folder so i'm going to right click on this and show more options and if i go to send to i'm going to turn this into a compressed zip folder and just let this compress into a zip file and you'll see in a second that this generates this so this is what we need is a compressed zip folder so now this has been created if we look inside of here we've got this folder and we've also got this back so we can now delete this folder this is useless to us and let's go back into vita 3k now to install your games what i'm going to do is go to file and since my game is in a dot zip we need to install one dot zip if you've got a game which is in dot package or dot vpk then it will be the same process in this case i'm installing dot zip so left click and I'm going to select file. So the file is on my desktop and here it is. So left click once on that compressed zip file and press open. And as we can see, Shovel Knight is now installing. And again, once your game has been installed, we can delete the archive. We don't need it anymore. It's been installed. So press OK. And that will delete your zip file like i say it's already installed into the emulator at this point which reminds me if we go back into the folder where we've installed beta 2 your game data is going to be in the ux0 app folder so if you want to delete games this is where you're going to delete them from so I'm going to open up Vita 3k again and here is my game so let's just go into controls first and controllers now i'm using my playstation 3 controller as i always do and this one's actually listed as an xbox 360 controller which is normal and if you use a ps3 controller you understand where i'm coming from so let's just close that here and let's try our game so if i double left click here or use my controller d-pad i can go up and down so i'm going to press x on this and this is going to bring us to the start we start and there we go <laughs> So if I press PS on my PS3 controller, that's going to bring us back into the menu. So let's look at making this into full screen. So to make this full screen, what we're going to do is just go into configuration, settings. And if we just go over to emulator under settings and just check boots app in full screen and just save this. So if we go over to GPU, we got a selection just here. So back end render is what it is uh, if you find a game should be playing and it doesn't work then it's worth switching over the back end render which is also known as a driver so in this case my game's working fine with the default open gl 
We've also got VSync just here, which we we'll always need to keep checked in case we're playing 3D games, which is going to call screen tear. Screen filter, we got bilinear FXAA. So I'm going to keep this on bilinear, that's fine. Now, internal resolution is what's really going to make these games look good. So for something like I've got, which is Shovel Knight for this tutorial, it's not really going to show much difference. But if you're going to be playing other 3D games, then by bumping this internal resolution up, is going to make things look so much better just be cautious that you will need a fairly good computer to support this so if things start lagging when they shouldn't be then internal resolution upscaling should be turned down so for this i'm going to just bump this one up two two times that's fine and anastrophic filtering again you need a fairly good computer to support this if you want to go right up to 16 times but again, I'm going to put mine to four times and that's fine. So again, what I'm going to do is just hit save and close and let's open up Shovel Knight again and start. And if you see the quality of that, that's very slow. So if you should get a game like that, it's just a case of changing the settings around. So what I'm going to do then to change settings is, of course, if we go to configuration, settings, I'm going to just tone down those settings I put on to see if this game looks a little bit better. So if we firstly go to GPU, I'm going to firstly try putting internal resolution down and, of course, put anastrophic filtering down. And I'm going to put this down to one times just to test this. And I'm going to, of course press on save and I'm going to go to close and let's try this one again So as we can see, that's running fine now. And that's what I was trying to demonstrate just a minute ago, where some games are going to work better than others, but it all depends on those video settings. And that's the case for Shovel Knight. And that's it for my Vita 3K setup guide, standalone emulator edition. So like I said at the start, if you like my video, hit notifications and also subscribe. And be sure to check out my other content. I mainly focus on front-end system setup guides such as Retrobat, Batacera, Launchbox, and many other standalone emulators comprising of consoles and microcomputers. Also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And also be sure to check out tomorrow. I'm doing a very cool video, which some retro fans might not want to miss. But until next time, stay retro.